2020 and our story begins in East London at Thomas Buxton Primary School to be precise. Cole Jeff is playing with his friends. He has just finished his bottle of water and is half-heartedly trying to find a recycling bin. I want to carry on playing football. I don't have time to find a bin. Besides, I don't see how throwing one piece of litter on the floor can hurt anyone. Little does he know, but this one piece of plastic is the start of a mighty adventure. As the days pass on, the plastic water bottle is still on the ground, standing tall and strong, neither decomposing nor withering away. Soon enough, the amount of litter at the school outnumbers the number of children. It is now winter at Thomas Buxton Primary School. The snow is settling onto the ground, but what's this? A bird flying into the sky is passing the school and sees something shiny in the ground. It swoops down and grabs the plastic bottle with its beak. Flying and soaring higher and higher, the bird takes the plastic bottle across White Trouble down to Tower Hill, passes the turret on Tower Bridge and plop drops it into the River Thames. Floating gently and silently down the River Thames, the plastic water bottle is met by other discarded items from people such as crisp packets, tin cans, bits and other bobs that should have been placed into bins. Eventually, the plastic bottle meets the sea, bobbing up and down, floating along with the current of the waves. The current suddenly pulls the plastic water bottle under. It begins to drift deeper and deeper under the sea, until it is met by a group of mighty and majestic tortoises. Thinking it is a snack, one of the tortoises begins to nib, nibble, and chew. With all the nibbling and munching and biting, the bottle ends up wound around the tortoise's leg. A day passes, then a week, then a month, then a year. The tortoise quickly swims around the ocean, but is unable to remove the plastic bottle from its leg. Aging gracefully, the tortoise passes a beach field with piles and piles of litter. Oh, look, a tortoise with a plastic bottle stuck in his leg. How funny, an elderly man comments. Could it be Jeff? Has he not learned to change his ways? The years pass and the beach slowly fills up with litter. Specks of sand become specks and piles of litter. The beach has vanished and becomes the site of a new junkyard. Jeff's son is now working at the junkyard. He remembers the stories that his grandmother would tell him of the past. A beach with sand as warm as the sun, waves lapping up to the shore, how he wishes he could visit such a place. He stubs his toe on something hard. Ouch! He, he picks up something that looks like a rock. Looking closely, he notices a bit of plastic. Oh my! A fossil of a tortoise and some plastic. How strange. The years pass on and the fossil and plastic water bottle are still ever present. The year is now 3020 and humans are still littering. Trees are dying. More and more land is being used as a landfill and humans are becoming extinct. The year is now 4020 and Earth has become one large landfill site. Humans are no longer live on earth and the earth is beginning to die darker and darker dirtier and dirtier the earth's time is up Just as the Earth is about to end, a fossil merged with plastic silently floats out into space. But all of this did not and should not have happened. Jeff realises that this all could be stopped by making small changes. Rewind time. 
The year is 2020 and our story begins in East London, at Thomas Buxton Primary School to be precise. A boy called Jeff is playing with his friends. He has just finished his bottle of water and is passionately trying to find a recycling bin. I want to carry on playing football, but I know that looking after the environment is more important. Let me find a bin. The year is 2020. We are Thomas Buxton Primary School and we care for our environment. There is no such thing as a way. When we throw anything away, it must go somewhere. Annie Lennon.